What's going on YouTube, Uberman here. So I get a lot of questions all the time. I know for most of you, you probably don't even care about what happens behind the scenes, but I'm telling you guys, I spend hours and hours and hours every day answering YouTube comments, taking suggestions for new videos that uh, people would like to see, trying to help drivers. And I know you guys don't see that. Most of you probably don't care about it. I just wanted to put that out there real quick. There's a lot more to what I do other than just sitting on a computer and playing on uh, YouTube or something. There's a whole lot more to it than that, guys. I'm always out here trying to help drivers, and, and it's gotten really busy lately. Companies are coming to me with their products, and I'm not just throwing products out there. Look at my videos. You don't see me advertising a whole bunch of products because the majority of what I get is junk. I'm not going to advertise junk. Won't do it. I'm not going to get paid for selling you guys crap. You know, um, I have to believe that it's a value for the drivers. I'm not going to promote it. With that being said, let's move on. Is driving worth it? Is driving for Uber worth it? I can't speak so much on Lyft because I'm, I'm not on that platform. But is driving for Uber worth it? Guys, that really depends on so many different factors. Okay, this answer can vary person to person. In your market, you might have five drivers that swear they're making a killing, and maybe they are. You might have 20 drivers that are saying, I can't even break even. I'm losing money driving. And you know what? That's possible as well. How, how, how is this possible? How can some drivers in the same market bank and other drivers end up in the negative? How does it happen? I'll explain it to you guys. I like to call this the beat of the city. Every city has a beat. It's, it's a, think of it like a heartbeat, okay? It's a rhythm, um, if, you, if you will. Um, that's the analogy I'm gonna go with. It's a rhythm. There are certain times and certain places that it is profitable to drive. The most profitable drivers know the beat of their city. It's a big thing that you wanna know about, guys. Events that are happening in your area, in the area that you're gonna be driving in. You know, is there going to be a concert? Is there a football game, basketball game, baseball game, soccer? I mean, is, is there a hockey game? What are the events happening in your area? If you don't know this, you need to find out. Google it. Look around. Find when and where big events are happening in your area because these are going to be the most opportune times to drive. These are going to be the times that are most profitable for you. Once you learn when and where you need to be in your city, you will notice a significant increase in your earnings. Driving around aimlessly, hoping to get a ride, I mean, that's fine, you can do that. Maybe you can make a profit doing it, not everybody can, but definitely some people make a profit just driving around aimlessly, and that's fine if it works for you. I say that to everybody. I'm here to provide you with suggestions and advice. But the fact is, is if you're doing it a different way for me, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. Um, I'm here just to offer suggestions. If, it, if what you're doing works for you, Uber on with it. Straight up, go with that because it works. But for everybody else that's asking these questions, it <laughs> profitability will vary driver to driver in your own area. It varies city to city, state to state, throughout the country, throughout other countries worldwide, guys, there are some places that seem to be unanimously considered unprofitable to drive in, okay? Some people may still make money there, but it seems like everybody just says this area is absolutely not a profitable market to drive in. So I wanted to throw that out there for you guys. Um, I cannot tell you with 100% certainty if your particular market is profitable because truthfully in most markets it depends on you it depends on the driver what are you doing to make that market profitable for you now in the areas where there just isn't the demand or there is such an influx of drivers that it's just not worth it obviously that doesn't work but guys find your hot spots okay find these places know the times know the places be there, be ready, and you should be a profitable driver. As always, like, comment, subscribe, be safe out there, and Uber on.